Hey friends, if Blender keeps crashing on your Windows 11 computer, then please watch this video. I will guide you through the resolutions. Now, the first solution is to check a system requirements. Even if you have Blender installed on your system, open the Microsoft Store, either from the system tray or search for it in the Windows search bar and then open it. Then search for Blender in the search bar. Open Blender, the first option. And then scroll down to the system requirements uh, section. If it gives a green tick, then it's well and good, but not necessarily, but at least it should have a green tick. Now click on show more. As you can see, the memory requirement is 2 GB, but that's the minimum uh, memory requirement. You need 8 GB of RAM to uh, work on Blender smoothly, and that is what I recommend as well. Now it says that you do not need a uh, video memory for it as the minimum requirement. Obviously, you can install Blender with it, but I know that to, uh, it will start crashing and freezing and uh, that's what happens when you don't have an external graphics card and you start using Blender. So you need that and obviously Windows 10 or Windows 11 is required. Then the second solution will be to update the graphics card drivers. Search for device manager in the Windows search bar and open the device manager window. Expand the display adapters, right click on the dedicated graphics card and update it and then right click on the regular graphics card and update it. Now if you don't have a dedicated graphics card, it makes it even more necessary to update the regular graphics card. The next solution is to reset and repair the Blender app. How do we do this? Search for Blender in the Windows search bar and click on app settings in the right pane. Now wait for it to load and scroll down to the reset section. Click on repair, click on reset and then click on reset once again. And finally, if everything else fails, then uninstall Blender and uninstall it. And once it is uninstalled, then you can reinstall it from the Microsoft Store. Don't uh, reinstall it from the website, but from the Microsoft Store. Was this helpful? If yes, then please subscribe to the channel. And if not, then let us know in the comment section of this video on how we could help you further. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.